This experiment involves levitating a table tennis ball with a hairdryer. As you can see, the ball floats in the air if you keep the hairdryer still. But what happens if you move the hairdryer? You might be surprised to see that even if the hairdryer is tilted, the ball can still float in place. Let's go through the steps of how to do this, as well as figure out why it happens. First, connect the hairdryer to a power source making sure to follow all listed safety requirements or have someone to supervise you. Next, point the hairdryer directly upwards, then when you are ready, power it on. Once it is on, release the table tennis ball over it so the ball floats. From here, slowly tilt the hairdryer to the side. You should see the ball floating in place until the hairdryer is tilted too far and the ball falls. Here are some optional steps to see why this happens. Point the hairdryer upwards while levitating the ball, and tap the top of the ball. Doing so makes it bounce, but it stays in the air. This is because the hairdryer is shooting out air particles, which collide with the ball, knocking it upwards. Next, levitate the ball again, tapping it on the side this time. Interestingly, it wiggles in place too. This has to do with Bernoulli's principle one consequence being that faster moving air generates less pressure. Since the air from a hair dryer is moving fast, the area above it has less pressure than the surrounding area. This basically creates a wall of higher pressure air, keeping the ball in. Although, if you push the table tennis ball too hard, this wall cannot stop it, so it will fall. These two observations explain why the ball could keep floating if you tilt the hair dryer. The air particles push on the ball from one side, and the wall of air from the other side. But if tilted too far, the wall will not be strong enough to resist gravity, making the table tennis ball fall. 